Hello, welcome back to another video by Mallory. <laughs> This section we're going to talk about chapter 12 which is entitled health and the specific sections we're going to talk about is medical research. It's called disease mapping. Just a little bit about the introduction. Um, during national or international outbreaks of disease, up-to-date information on cases of geographical spread is critical in fighting the problem. So <clears throat> um, scientists, doctors, and people in the tech industry need to be able to come together and provide methods to estimate how much a, um, a, a specific place is at risk. Um, increasingly, IT is being used not only to map the outbreaks, but to gather up minute-by-minute um, -minute cases of the data reported um, to see like where the real outbreaks are occurring and where people need to be more cautious. Um, through this, um, increasing technology is used with mobile devices which have up to date, um, send in up to date data and wireless internet connections are also being used. So now we're gonna talk about a little bit about the specific cases of it. Uganda Malaria Surveillance Project. Um, in 2001, the Uganda Malaria Surveillance Project, or the UMSP, was formed. Um, it was to link academic researchers at um, University of California in San Francisco with Uganda Ministry of Health. Since 2002, the USMP has conducted trials of anti-malaria treatment at um, seven diverse centennial sites around Uganda. So their studies have led to over 20 publications and have impacted the management of the malaria in Africa. This is one of the most um, prevalent things in Africa that has helped curtail malaria and become aware through techno technological means. Um, so overall, yes, it's the, since malaria is the country's biggest killer, um, a system using a centralized database based in Kampala um, is being used to um, replace the previous paper system. Wireless connections and solar panels remove the need for generators and landlines, which are generally unavailable and expensive to install in these rural locations. So the UMSP um, has different goals. They have um, four main goals that they want everybody to know about. Um, they want available and new anti-malarial therapies, potential anti-malarial related adverse events, um, malaria associated mor morbidity and mortality, and um, anti-malarial drugs. So, um, to build and implement a multi-safe surveillance system in Uganda, they need to evaluate on these different criteria. So they have been very successful and they have established a network of researchers and key stakeholders in malaria to control Uganda's um, outbreaks of malaria. Um, 
So yeah, let's talk a little bit about um, they built capacity for laboratory diagnosis and molecular studies of malaria in Uganda, and through all this technology, they've been very successful. Next, we need to talk about Health Map. Um, what Health Map is, it's a team of researchers or epidemiologists and software developers based at Boston's All Children's Hospital. It was founded in 2006 and an established global leader in utilizing online informal sources for disease outbreak monitoring and real time surveillance of emerging public health threats. So, um, HealthMap.org is a freely available site, and there's a mobile out, um, app that they've created called Outbreaks Near Me. Um, it utilizes real-time intelligence, which is uh, increasing in this type of disease mapping. Um, emerging infectious diseases for diverse audience, including libraries, local health departments, um, government agencies, and international travelers. So Health Map brings together the disparate um, data resources and um, pretty much uses it, as a, uses it as an aggregate or um, a compilation of all the different data that they've seen and makes a comprehensive view. So through the screenshot of what's seen on um, the PowerPoint right now, you can see that on healthmap.org, you can click on global, local, or news and see the different outbreaks of where um, different strains of bacteria are um, or what where the flu is near you there's many um, resources that you can use on it um, the systems monitors organizes integrates and filters um, online information for emerging diseases in nine languages and facilitates early detection of global public health threats so it's very important and uh, it's very widely used So just to reiterate, um, the Health Map is a team of epidemiologists and software developers. Um, their mobile app is called Outbreaks Towards Me, and it's a similar system which uses Google Maps to show the latest health news um, and alerts from around the globe. Data is fetched from news feeds of various organizations, including the World Health Organization, to create a mashup of the data um, and to plot it all on the map. So just to reiterate, a key benefit of online health mapping is the ability to gather data quickly from affected regions and to also disperse it quickly. The information needs to be spread quickly, so through an online method, this can be used really fast. And awareness of outbreaks can also help contain them. These are just a few of my resources. Um, just to reiterate, disease mapping, uh, very important uh, up and coming technologically with um, curtailing diseases and the Uganda Malaria Service Surveillance Project and the healthmap.org are two of the major components that are helping out this process.